Hey, Jim Toscano here, and today I want to talk about the Oben QRA R2 quick release assembly with the RP20 plate. In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily move your camera from one mounting vise to another, and it's affordable. I needed a quick release mounting solution for my Sony a7 III and my Sony a6400. I wanted to be able to move those cameras around my studio to different mounting locations, a tripod, a slider track, ball heads, even a monopod. The QRA R2 features a 3 8 16 mounting thread with a quarter inch 20 reducer bushing. It's low profile and most importantly, it clears the battery compartment on both my Sony a7 III and my Sony a6400. My first impressions is that it's well made. It's a metal base and plate. It has three levels, uh, a bubble level on top, and two levels, one on the front, one on the side. The plate sits nice and flush on the base. Also, there's a little D-ring that helps you thread the mounting plate screw onto your camera without a screwdriver, which is a nice little feature. This is huge. At the time of making this video, this retails for $24.95 on B&H or Amazon, and I've included affiliate link uh, in the description of this video, which doesn't add any extra cost to you, but it helps support my channel. You mount the RP20 on the bottom of the camera. When you drop it into this plate, you actually can just tilt the camera and it will lock into place just by tilting the camera on. And I'll show you that in a moment. And then it has this little, so there's this like a safety uh, guard right there. So you pull them together and it releases the plate. And like I said, you just tilt the camera on and it locks into place. I like this particular one also because it actually does not block the battery door on the a7 III or my a6400. So this is the quick release plate. We have three of them. On the bottom of this mounting plate, there's a little D-ring. So you actually, when you're screwing this in to the camera, you don't even need a screwdriver. You can use the little D-ring on the bottom. That's actually a nice little feature. So we're gonna mount this first on my Sony a6400 and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so first I just wanna show you, this is my Sony a6400 and I left the AC adapter sticking out of the battery compartment. And I did that for a reason. I want you to see how the mounting plate actually clears that. So the first thing is, we're gonna thread this onto the bottom of the camera, uh, the RP20 mounting plate. I'm gonna use that little D-ring to thread it on. So I have the little D-ring going, which is great. And I'm gonna mount this onto the bottom of the camera. The camera now has the RP20 mounting plate on the bottom. That little D-ring is folded away. And then this one's actually a ball head on a lighting stand. And so we're gonna screw the first option onto this. And this is the one that sits over by the drum kit. Now I can take this camera and simply drop it onto the, onto the plate and really one-handed click that into place. That is a really nice feature. So you can walk over, tilt it on, clicks into place. Great. And again, you know, if you're going to take this off, you have the little safety release, move it together, and you could take it right off like that. So now... We have the Canova slider track, and so we're going to open up our next one. Now, on this particular one, we're not going to need the base plate because it's already on our camera. We're going to use this for a different camera. For our next application, we're going to put a ball head on the Canova mount, and then the plate to the ball head. Let's say we want to take our camera off of the tripod location. We bring it over, tilt it in, locks right into place on my slider track. So this is huge. This is a huge deal for me because I can move these cameras around the studio really easily and the mount is very secure. Nice solid construction, metal construction. It's affordable, $24.95 with the plate. So now I have three of the quick release assemblies and three plates for different cameras, and I can move them from one location to the other quickly, easily, without any issue, and I really love this. Consider subscribing to the channel if you like what I do. Please hit the like button and hit that notification bell, 
and I'll see you on the next video.